In my last video, I read the passage out loud to you guys and then it cut me off. So I'm going to read the questions out loud and then go over what the questions are asking for you. All right, so number one says, this question has two parts. First answer part A, then answer part B. Part A, how is the first paragraph different from the ones that come after it? So you need to go back and look at that first paragraph and decide what makes that paragraph different. Is it A, it describes events that led Norgay and Hillary to climb Mount Everest. The other paragraphs tell about problems they overcame on their climb. B, it shows what a mountain climber has to do to stay alive on dangerous climb. Later paragraphs tell what happens as they reach the top and why it happened. C, it helps readers understand a problem the climbers face and how they solved it. Later paragraphs tell the order of the events as the men climb to the top of the mountain. Or D, it compares what Tenzing Norgay felt as he reached the top of the mountain to what Hillary felt. Other paragraphs help readers understand why they made the climb. Underline a detail in paragraph 1 that best supports the answer to part A. So, part A, how is the first paragraph different? And then, what detail in the first paragraph supports your answer? So, look here, and you're not going to be able to underline it because you don't have the passage printed out for you, but you can write it, the sentence, over to the side right here, and then whenever I get your packet, I'll have the answer. Number two, what does the word plains mean as it is used in paragraph two? Does the word plains mean grassy fields, aircraft, bodies of water, or Tenzing's homeland? Three, how does the author mainly organize the details in Tiger of the Snow? A, by stating the problems he faced and how he solved them. B, by stating his point of view and comparing it to Hillary's. C, by explaining the events in the order they occurred, or D, by explaining what happened and why it happened. How does he organize the tiger of the snows? B, which two details from the text best supports the answer to part A? So you're going to choose two of these choices, all right, that supports your answer here, all right, and if you notice, it tells you which paragraph it comes from, so you can go back and read that paragraph. Number four, put events from the autobiography in the order they happened by writing the numbers one to four on the lines before each sentence. So you're going to read these sentences and you're going to put a one wherever, which, at whichever one happened first in the story. And then number five says, why do you think the author used a chronological text structure in the autobiography? So why do you think he ordered things in the event of how they happened? Why do you think he used chronological order in um, to write his essay. All right, so if you have any questions, just message me and let me know. I'm here to help you. You can also give me a call if you need to, um, but hopefully this helps, and I will talk to you guys on Monday.